Vice President Mike Pence in Atlanta today on the heels of last night's first presidential debate. He left a Cobb County gathering of evangelicals not too long ago. Doug Richards was there for us and he joins us live from the Cobb Galleria. Doug, not surprising that the vice president was praising the president's performance last night. No, it certainly wasn't. And uh, so was the room full of evangelicals who were here, folks who President Trump likes to refer to as his base, and folks who are, by the way, beyond thrilled that this particular president uh, is poised to appoint a third justice to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, the Faith and Freedom Coalition has been very active in Georgia. It lobbied hard for Georgia's heartbeat bill, the abortion bill that they hope a conservative court will eventually uphold. So when President Trump debated last night, this was a crowd that was predisposed to like what they were hearing, even if the president's debate style was a bit overbearing. Before the debate started, he said, what's going to happen? I said, well, President Donald Trump's going to take our case to the American people. And he's going to take the fight to Joe Biden. And that's exactly what he did. Some people think Trump won. I mean, I think at least the issues got out. But I, I think they, if they have another debate, they need to change moderators because he was definitely partisan. And I don't think that should be. He interrupted Trump a lot. And Trump did talk a lot. But Biden had a lot of lies and told he didn't answer any questions. So. I don't think it changed any voters. And really just to be here to say thank you. Many others at today's event, like Marilyn Crone, found fault with former Vice President Biden's debating style uh, rather than that of the debating style of President Trump. Uh, Vice President Pence's visit here, along with the visit uh, just last week to this very same room of President Trump, all show that uh, Georgia is a vital state in President Trump's strategy to win the Electoral College again in 2020. Uh, and polls, as we know, show the race here in Georgia to be a toss-up. Back to you.